I've committed myself to competing on August 12th, but that's not what this series is about. It's not about first place, it's not about a trophy, it's not about getting abs. This series is much more than that. This series is about setting yourself a goal and following through with it. And at the end of 16 weeks, using the self-discipline gained from this process to become the person you want in life. Become the person you want to be. I want you to do this with me. Set yourself a goal and see what change is possible in four months. Commit on day one and follow through. I know there are people that will see this and they'll set themselves a goal but after one week they'll fall off. Two weeks, five weeks, ten weeks, people will start to drop by. Don't be that person. Be the person that's relentless, that keeps grinding through and at the end of those 16 weeks can stand up tall and say yes, I stayed through this and I achieved the goals I wanted to achieve. For me it's about consistently going to the gym, not skipping cardio sessions, being as accurate as I can with my diet and constantly pushing myself every single day. Not only will you see my physique change but my mindset will change. And if you do this with me, you'll see what's possible when you give 120% day in, day out. Everything in life is you. One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is because we don't focus our attention. We're worried about outside influences, those negative thoughts. People's negativity starts to get within us, but if we stop thinking about they and thinking about us, then we see what's truly possible when we push our bodies. For me, this prep is going to be the toughest thing I've done. I'm going to have to be my own motivation. I'm going to push myself day in, day out. It's going to be me constantly putting in the grind. But it's also going to be me that says, I'm hungry. I want to eat this. I don't want to train today. I'm tired. And that is my competition. That's what I'm fighting against every single day. And with that said, welcome to episode one of Me vs. Me. <laughs> So we made it to lunch guys. I got a steak sandwich with sweet potato fries. Megan, what did you get? Um, a chicken Caesar salad. Chicken Caesar salad. So we're going to enjoy this, chill out for the rest of the day, and I'll see you guys back at the house. So I'm back at the house guys. I just want to give you a full description of sort of where I'm at and my starting point for this prep in terms of my training my body, my measurements, just everything. So today is Saturday at my prep, officially begins on Monday, which will be the 17th of April. It's gonna be, so that's gonna be the first day of my prep, that's gonna be the first day where I probably clean up my diet and my cardio starts then as well. Right now I'm super motivated to work out, I'm super motivated to get this prep started, but it's gonna be days where I'm hungry, my motivation's gonna be zero, I'm not gonna to wanna to train at all, but I wanna show you guys every single stage to my prep that I can. So I'll be diving for 16 weeks and I want to show you guys every change in terms of my body, my training is going to change, my nutrition is going to change, just show you every part of that aspect as well. Because this is my first prep, or my first, yeah, so it's going to be my first competition that I've ever done, I'm going to collect a lot of data about myself guys, not just so I can show you, but so just for myself so I can learn my body as best as possible and if I decide to compete again I have a lot of data about my body and I can look back at that and see how I changed throughout this 16 weeks and maybe next time I'll give myself less time to prep, I might give myself more time but for me at the moment 16 weeks will have gone with. A lot of people tend to do 3 months but there's no really perfect length of time. The longer I think the longer you can give yourself 
the better chance you are going to get lean, you're going to get dry, you're giving yourself longer, you're more likely to lose less muscle. So that's why I've decided to go for 16 weeks instead of a 12 week prep. I'm 5'7", 21 years old. My starting weight for this prep is 70 kilograms. Dieting for 16 weeks. Please ignore my bad posing. I'll be going to posing coach soon and I'll show you guys that as well in my future YouTube videos. My waist is 30 inches, shoulders are 47 inches, my arms are 16 inches and my thighs are currently 24 inches as well. My body fat at the moment is 18%. I did body fat tests and I was planning on videoing that for you guys but me being the idiot that I am, I forgot my camera. Well actually I brought the camera but I brought a camera with no battery in it so that's why I can't show you that footage guys but I will be going back to get my body fat test done and I will show you guys a lot more of that. If you want to set a camera up for yourself guys, it's never easy and if you're planning on doing this, just remember the start of your prep is the worst your physique is going to look and it will only get better. So don't be shy to turn the camera on and sort of record yourself, hit a few different poses and get your physique done so you can look back at it throughout your prep and just see how your body's improved. So my training at the moment is five days on, two days off but I'm sure as I get deeper into my prep that will change. I am planning on changing my uh, body split before my prep, before the cut my cut, I was doing push pull legs but I think I'm going to change that for this prep. I will let you know though exactly what my training split is in my next YouTube video. In terms of cardio, I'll be starting my cardio on Monday, probably with about 20 minutes a day, 20 minutes every other day. But a lot of people when they start contest prep, they decrease the macros from their bulk macros to their cut macros and they will see sort of how their body responds to that for maybe a couple of weeks and then start to add cardio in or adjust their, adjust their calories depending on that. But for me, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna start with cardio straight away from Monday, 20 minutes a day, 20 minutes every other day. And then after two weeks, I'll adjust my calories, my macros, and yeah, adjust my cardio as well, just to see how my body responds to that. I'm gonna tell you my macros, guys, but please, please don't just copy my macros. I will do a video very shortly for you guys on how to find out your macros. But just because something works for me, it's not going to work for you guys, it's not going to work for everyone. So my macros at the moment, I have them written down here, are 210 protein, 65 fat and 160 carbs. So my calories will be between sort of 2100 to 2200, which is a cut of about 800 calories from my bulk prep. Usually people go down, say, you know, take 500 from away from your maintenance, which is usually about 1000 away from your cut but that doesn't really give you much room to sort of take away from your calories. I've been bulking for so long now, I'm just excited for this prep and I've had the idea of doing a competition for the, I think the past year. And that's sort of been my main goal while training throughout the past year. So to finally get to this point where my training's good, my motivation to train right now is so high as well. I'm just happy to be starting this, this, this competition and showing you guys as much as possible along the way. Please comment below or message me on Instagram anything that you would like me to put in these videos over the next 16 weeks in terms of weight loss, whether it be about macros, training, anything like that. Please message me or comment below. I would love to make videos based on your suggestions, so please leave me comments, guys. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.